We've heard from many uh, presidential candidates or their surrogates so far, Republicans as well as Democrats. One candidate who's been mentioned a few times this morning, uh, but who has not been able to join us. He was pulled down to New York for some reason yesterday to tape some show, Saturday Night Live, I believe it's called. Uh, but somebody who has been a very strong voice on the issue of getting big money out of politics is, of course, the Vermont Senator Bernie Sanders currently leading in the polls here in New Hampshire. Um, we received the sincere apologies of their campaign that they could not send him because of this New York distraction, but we are very pleased to have in his stead a leader here in New Hampshire who has served in various state offices, currently a state representative, who was a candidate for governor recently running on a bold platform to question this toxic issue of the broad-based tax and create a more fair system for Granite Staters. Please join me in welcoming Representative Jackie Silly on behalf of Bernie Sanders. So as if it weren't uh, intimidating enough to be standing in Senator Bernie Sanders' uh, place whose shoes uh, I would not be able to fill. I have to go after Marianne Williamson. Was she fabulous or what? I would have come just to hear her. Okay. So, good morning, Rebels. The work you're doing is so important. And as you heard Dan say, Senator Sanders sends his profound regrets that he could not be here with you today. And though I am here physically in his place, I can assure you he is here in spirit with you and in the shared belief that our democracy is at stake and that we have to end the corrupting influence of big money in our politics. In fact, Bernie Sanders is the only candidate, the only candidate in this presidential race who is actually walking the talk. You know he has no super PAC supporting him. He is doing this on the power of, of the people. He has three million and counting individual supporters. He's doing it with an average contribution of $27. He is walking the talk. Senator Sanders knows, as do you and I, that there is a complete disconnect between what we the people want and what we can expect from our Congress. He knows, as do you and I, that the single most important influencing factor that produces the discrepancy between what we want and what our Congress actually does is the corrupting influence of money. Too many of our elected people, elected officials, give lip service to we the people and then take their marching orders from they the big money interest. Think about this. We the people want livable wages for our workers. But we've lost ground on wages. They peaked over 15 years ago and they've been stagnant ever since. We the people want a safe, modern infrastructure for both our economy and for our citizenry. And yet, what do we have? We've got the example, as you've heard this morning, of Flint, Michigan, and the people of Flint, Michigan, drinking lead-tainted water, where 8,675 children are now at risk, not just today, but for the rest of their lives. We, the people, want innovation and entrepreneurship, but we've been slipping in that, and we are now 12th in the world in business creation. We, the people, want our children to be educated to the needs of a modern citizenry and prepared for the workforce of tomorrow. But we've lost ground on education. Out of 64 countries, our children are 37th in the sciences and 25th in math. Bernie Sanders knows, as do you and I, that the obstacles to addressing those things and many more are the corrupting influence of money in politics.
That is why, if he becomes president, Senator Bernie Sanders has vowed to do the following things. First and foremost, his litmus test for any nomination to the Supreme Court will be a justice that understands the negative influence of Citizens United and who vows to overturn it. Senator Sanders has vowed to fight for a constitutional amendment, making it clear that Congress and the states have the right to regulate money in the elections. He has brought an amendment in, in, toward that end in the Senate, and he has been a leading champion on this issue. He has vowed to fight for a publicly financed, transparent, system of campaign financing that amplifies small donations and to produce an effective public financing for presidential elections. He will insist on complete transparency regarding the funding of campaigns, including the disclosure of uh, the contributions to outside spending groups. Bernie Sanders will fight to eliminate super PACs and the spending abuses that we have seen go on all too often. And he will work to aggressively enforce campaign finance rules, something that has been not done. So you'll notice that Bernie Sanders' agenda aligns very, very well with the New Hampshire Rebellion and with We the People Reform, the Re We the Re People Reform agenda. He is the one candidate who has been taking this message to every state, city, town, and hamlet throughout this great country, and he talks about it on a daily basis. And while we know his, mes his message is resonating, we also know the powerful forces that are aligned against him. Voters are being bombarded on an hourly basis with messages that Senator Sanders is simply too radical, that his ideas are not doable. You're going to have to go with the establishment candidate because it can't be done. But I'm here to tell you that Senator Sanders has not proposed one idea, not one, that is either not already being done in other countries or that cannot be done but for the influence of big money in politics. George Bernard Shaw famously said, the reasonable man adapts himself to the world. The unreasonable man attempts to adapt the world to himself. Therefore, all progress is done through unreasonable men and women, I might add. I want the candidate who will fight hardest to adapt the world to we the people. Our families deserve the fundamental right to health care enjoyed by citizens of virtually every other industrialized country in the world. That's not a radical idea. We're, we're the outlier here. Our workers deserve the dignity of a livable wage. Again, not such a radical idea. Our children deserve to be educated to meet the needs of tomorrow's citizenry and workforce. Every one of us deserves clean water and clean air. Bernie Sanders is fighting for every one of those things, and he is fighting against a mountain of well-financed interest groups. It is going to take a tsunami of individual citizens to erode that mountain and to get him over the top. We're going to have to put our shoulders to the wheel and fight every moment for candidates such as Bernie Sanders who have vowed to carry on the very agenda that is of most importance to the New Hampshire Rebellion and to those of us that would like to partic partic participate in the political process without having to be out there constantly raising money to do it. It's going to take, as Bernie Sanders said, a political revolution. 
I believe you're prepared to do that. I believe it is what you're already doing. So I'd like the candidate that represents we the people best. I'd like Bernie Sanders as our next president of the United States. I hope you will join me in supporting him. and ensuring that the message that you care most about, that underlies all of those other issues and programs that you've heard about here this morning, are carried by a candidate who can give full-throated support for them, and as I said, walk the talk. Thank you very much for allowing me to join you today. Jack, if we could ask you to take a picture with James Madison and Mr. Madison, if you would get the scroll there, let's. Uh... Pleasure. So this is 219,000 signatures of citizens around the country, which we've presented to all the presidential candidates for a, a photo op of citizens who demand that this fight big money agenda is passed, and Bernie Sanders has been for the, the planks in this agenda, has released his plan, so we are very appreciative of his support and his leadership. And if we can just take a quick picture, if you come forward into the light. So presented to the Sanders campaign by way of Representative Jackie Silly. Thank you.